Bless the name of Jesus. Viewers and subscribers, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to breathe a quick word of prayer. Lord, I just bless you, I exalt you, I honor you, I give you thanks for this day. Lord Jesus Christ, you are excellent, you are awesome. We thank you, Lord God, that your presence is still with us. We thank you that your Holy Spirit is still reigning within the earth, leading your people into all truth. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done and still doing in our lives. To you we give all the glory, the honor, and praise. Partner with me now, your Holy Spirit, in this word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Ah, my brothers and sisters, I let me just first share with you all that the comment section in the video, uh, the Millennium Reign Part 2, is now open. For those who didn't know, I wasn't the one who turned off the comment section. I've never done a video and turn off the comment section. Never. Because I am always up for comments. I love when my brothers and sisters talk back to me. Whether we are in agreement or not, I always look forward for the comments. And so for those who had something to say in part two of the, the millennial reign, you can be free to revisit that video and talk back to me in the comment section. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I want to talk to you real quick. I want to share with you real quick. Um, a word. A, a, a ream a word. Bless the name of Jesus. A strong word from the Lord. I was very busy. All through last week. Into the weekend. So busy that. When it came to Saturday evening, I realized that I did not have anything prepared for gathering um, with the group. And so I went to the Lord. And, um, you know, I acknowledged that I'm unprepared. There's not a word. And so about 7 p.m., I, I, I went to my youngest daughter. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, she's nine years old. And um, when I, you know, go to Anna, I said to her that Saturday evening, Anna, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to talk to God. I need you to ask God for a word for gathering. And when you when you wake up in the in the night, I I'm asking you to talk to him again. Make sure that you receive a word from the Lord. And she says, yes, dad. And she went to, and you know, we had devotion and, you know, she went to bed. When I came around my room, before I, I went to bed, I also spoke to the Lord. I said, Lord, I, I don't have a word. I don't have a word for the the." the you know, the channel. I don't have a word. I need a word from you. I said to the Lord, the next time that I do a video, <clears throat> I, I, I must receive a word from you. I need a word from you, Lord. And I will not do a video until you, you give me a word for my viewers and subscribers. And so early Sunday morning, Bless the name of Jesus. Like Mary, I rose up and I, I went to my daughter and I asked her, I said, did anything, did you receive anything from the Lord? And she smiled and she says, yes, dad. Praise the name of Jesus. And so I said, okay, I'm going to ask you to, to bring, bring it in gathering for um, the devotional um, reading, praise the name of Jesus. I was excited. Um, and so when we went to gathering and after we, you know, started out and we spent some time on our knees before the Lord in prayer, you know, when all that was done, 
I call on my youngest daughter, Anna. You know, bring the word to us. And she came with her Bible and she stood up before all of us. And here's what she said. She says, I heard this word in my spirit. The Lord spoke to me a few days before last night. And the Lord told me, Isaiah 58. And she says, I was plain doing my thing, so I didn't pay it any mind. And she says, but last night when I prayed unto the Lord and I went to bed, the Lord visited me again and the Lord spoke to me. And the Lord says, Isaiah 58. The, she says, the Lord told me again, Isaiah 58. And I said to her, from where to where? And she says, from verse 1 to verse 7. And so my brothers and sisters, I hope that you are now ready to hear what the Lord will have to say to all of us. Because this is the word that I needed to make another video. Bless the name of Jesus. Because the word must come direct from the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, bless and sanctify your words unto our hearts, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hear what it says, Isaiah 58. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Praise the name of Jesus. And the house of Jacob their sins. Now this is directly to the church. This is directly to the body of Christ. This is speaking to us. And so let, let me just beat my chest. It's speaking to us. Us. Bless the name of Jesus. The house of Jacob. If you are part of the house of Jacob. This is speaking to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 2. Yet. They seek me daily. This is the Lord speaking. And they like to know my ways. The house of Jacob continue to speak to me daily. The house of Jacob continue to delight to know my ways. The body of Christ still have that interest. And so the church doors are still open. Quite a few still go to prayer meetings. Quite a few still do Bible study. The last time we had Bible study. And Zoom, we had about 17 people, which was good. Praise the name of Jesus. It's growing. And so there's an interest. Bless the name of Jesus. And so it says, As a nation that did righteousness, and forsook not the ordinance of their God, they ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take the light in approaching to God. And so there's still somewhat delight in going to church, in approaching God. All of that is still being done. Praise the name of Jesus. But here goes a question from the house of Jacob. Verse 3 is when the body of Christ is talking to God at this time. Verse 3 says, Wherefore have we fasted? Say they. You know why this question is asked? And thou, and thou seest not. In other words, Lord, how come we are fasting? And it's like you're not seeing us. My God. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls? And thou takest no knowledge. 
for all those who have been on the, the, the 21 day fast, this, this tradition where many churches every at the beginning of every year, there's a 21 day fast. Some do a 14 day fast. Some do a 7 day fast. Bless the name of Jesus. But the question is, in your congregation, have there been changed? The question is, are you seeing growth? Are you seeing, are you seeing change in your situation? Individually, collectively. Question. So let me reverse three again. Wherefore have we fasted? Say they. And thou says, Lord, and you, and you see not. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls? And thou takest no knowledge. This is the response of God. In verse 3. Behold, in the day of your fast, he find pleasure. House of Jacob. If you want to know why there is no result. House of Jacob. If you want to know why there is no change. If you want to know why there is no response. Here's the answer. Behold, in the day of your fast, he find pleasure and exact all your labors. The, this is what the all-seeing eyes is seeing. This is what the God that is everywhere, bless the name of Jesus. This is what he's seeing in the day of of the fast of the house of Jacob, his people. The response is, in the day you fast, you find pleasure. Oh God Almighty. And so, there are many who is fasting and, and, and at the same time finding pleasure. You're in fasting and the football game is going on, so you take the time to check the score. In the fasting, you know, the soccer game is going on. Liverpool versus Manchester United. And so you take the time to check the score. In the, in the time of your fast, you take the time to call a friend. Chit-chatting. Praise the name of Jesus. Finding pleasure. In the time of your fast. You are, you are eating sweeties, candies. In the time of your fast, just for a day from six to six or from a half day fast, you're drinking water like crazy. You're finding pleasure. In the day of your fast, you're surfing the net. You're just on the phone, on the phone. These are the things that the Lord is seeing, my brothers and sisters. In the day of your fast, he find pleasure. And exact all your labors. This is the word that the Lord gave to Anna. Praise the name of Jesus. This word was not just for my group. It's for the house of Jacob. He says, cry this aloud. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Because God needs the entire house of Jacob all over the world to hear this. Whether in America, Canada, Australia. The Caribbean, St. Lucia, wherever you are. India, Africa. Cry aloud. In the day of your fast, you exact all your labors. And so the Lord is asking us a question. How can you be in fasting, but you're still getting all your chores done. 
How can you be in fasting and you are just working away? Where is the time for me? Said the Lord. Your fasting is like any other day. You make sure in the day of your fast that every single thing that you have to be done is done. My God. You cannot pause, press the pause button of your life for me in the day of your fast. My God, help us, Jesus. This is the word that was given to the nine-year-old girl, my little daughter, to bring to us. Bless the name of Jesus. Verse 4. Behold, he fast for strife. What is the motive? What is the reason we enter into fast? Bless the name of Jesus. God says, Behold, he fast for strife and debate. Are we going and fasting to win an argument? Are we going and fasting to prove a point? And to smite with the fists of wickedness. When I, when, I, when, I, when I read this part, my brothers and sisters, are we going into fasting to support wickedness? Are we going into fasting to defend wickedness? Because I remember years ago when I was a part of, you know, the, 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 the church, you know, when I was a part of the church. I mean, when I was with the, the, the church group, the bigger group, I remember I had brethren who came to fasting because they have a child that get themselves in trouble. They have a child that truly commits a crime. And based on the crime, that child truly deserve uh, to be punished. That child truly deserve, you know, to, to, to pay for what they have done. And, you know, when I was reading this, I remember the entire congregation was on, you know, was in prayer. Praying that this child just go free, get away, just, Lord, just deliver this child from this case. We pray that this child will not go to jail. We pray that this child will just go free. And even until this day, these kind of persons are still out there doing the same or even worse, committing greater crimes because the church has prayed. So are we using our fasting to support wickedness? Because it's my sister's Son, it's my brother's son. These are the questions that we, we must be asking ourselves at this time as, as the house of Jacob. Help us, Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You fast for strife and debate. Verse 4. And to smite with the fists of wickedness. He shall not fast as he do this day. The Lord needs this to change. The Lord needs this. This, when he says this day, I'm hearing in my spirit, in this season, Something has to be changed in the way we fast. Some things has to be changed, my brothers and sisters. This day, this season. 
To make your voice to be heard on high. To make your voice to be heard on high. God is saying, there are some things that has to be changed. My remnant brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Verse 5. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? The Lord is saying, is this the kind of fast that I have chosen? He's asking us a question. A day for a man to afflict his soul. Is this the, the kind of fast I have chosen? Because the Lord is saying, the fast that I have chosen is for a man to afflict his soul. Bless the name of Jesus. And so your soul, our soul cannot be afflicted and, 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 and finding pleasure at the same time. It doesn't work like that. We cannot find pleasure in the day of fasting. This is what the Lord is saying. He's speaking to me. And the soul being afflicted at the same time. It just doesn't work. It's impossible. We can't have it both ways. My brothers and sisters. This is the word of the Lord. That is coming to us. Through a nine year old trial. Bless the name of Jesus. Hmm. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? God is saying, is this the kind of fasting that you're doing, house of Jacob? Remnant throughout the four corners of the earth. Question, is this the kind of fast that we are doing when we fast? Will thou call this a fast? Hmm. And an acceptable day of the Lord. If we are not doing this. If we are not afflicting our souls without pleasure. If we are not finding the time. To spend with the Lord. And to avoid the other stuff. Can we truly call this a fast? This is what the Lord is saying in verse 5. Verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Hear what the Lord says. He says, he's saying, is not this the, that fast that I have chosen? He's going to describe the fast that he's chosen, that he has chosen in verse 6. This is the fast that the Lord has chosen. To lose the bonds of wickedness. And so wherever there is wickedness, when we fast, wickedness must cease. Must come to a stop. When the body of Christ go and fasting, wherever there is wickedness, you must stop. And so you have in a family crisis. A black sheep in the family. Uh, some, somebody in the family raising up. Because I realize that we're having a lot of land wars these last days. A lot of, you know, fight for land and, 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 and all these things. Family against families. But if there's a believer or one or, one or two believers in the, in, in, in the family, there should be a fast that this kind of war and conflict in, 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 in the family should cease. Bless the name of Jesus. To lose the bonds of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. So many of us, my brothers and sisters, are experiencing bearing heavy burdens. In marriages, burdens. There's a lot of wives that is carrying a lot of burdens because their husbands are not at the place. 
Their husbands are not doing right. Their husbands are not, are not leading from the front. Their husbands are not aware that they are the, 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 the priests of the house. Their husbands are not aware that they, they are the one that should be the first in line of defense. My God. And so there are a lot of wives that are just burdened, carrying a lot of burden. Husbands the same. There are a lot of wives that, you know, are, 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 are being operating under the Jezebel spirit. And so there are a lot of wives that are so disrespectful. There are a lot of wives that are, have been affected because of the, 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 the global move of, of, of um, you, you know, the agenda that is out there. That, 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 that is designed by the devil to, to, to attack the men. Praise the name of Jesus. This group that is out there. Even in the body of Christ, a lot of wives are watching these programs, are watching these videos, and they have been led astray because of what the world system is, 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 is telling our, 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 our females. And the world, what the world is about, it doesn't line up with the word of God. And so burdens, burdens, parents carrying a lot of burdens because their children are not acting right. Their children are not behaving right. Many have grown up and they have walked away from the faith and they are just living contrary to the word of God. And as a mother, you're just burdened down by your child's behavior. The same for our fathers. But you know what the Lord says? The fast that he has called us to is to loose the bonds of wickedness, is to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free. The f when we go on fasting, my brothers and sisters, the captives must be set free. When I read this part, I remember when Peter was in prison and the saints, the house of Jacob, the remnant gathered into that house that night, praise the name of Jesus, and they were just in constant prayer. Bless the name of Jesus. I believe that they were also in fasting, praise the name of Jesus. And while they were there crying out unto the Lord, a damsel heard a knocking. Downstairs there, there was a knocking. And when the little girl went down and she, she asked, Who is it? Praise the name of Jesus. Peter says, It is high. Peter. She, she was so shocked that she didn't even believe. She went back upstairs and she said, Peter is here. Those who were upstairs didn't believe either. But Peter continued to knock. Because what? It, to their knowledge, what they knew is that Peter was being locked down by the system. Peter was under serious lockdown, guarded by soldiers, by the military of the day. It wasn't a normal lockdown. Oh God Almighty. And so to them it was impossible for Peter... To be knocking at the door. Because the military of the land. Had Peter. Oh praise the name of Jesus. But as they were in fasting and prayer. Crying out unto God. We know the story. God sent one angel. We know the story. The, the, the prison bar was flied open. 
When they reach at the main gate, the Bible tells us without any hand touching the gate, the gate just fly by itself. The power. The power that comes when we really fast right. When we get it right. Jesus says these kinds only go through prayer and fasting. Question, are you in a situation that seems impossible to change? Are you facing a crisis at this time that, that seems like, you know, there's no hope? I don't see where this will ever stop. I don't see where this man will ever change. I don't see where this woman will ever change. I don't see where these children will ever change. I don't see where this war in the family will ever change. These kinds, said the Lord, only goes through prayer and fasting. But the Lord is asking today, is this the kind of fast that I have requested? Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Huh. Bear, bear with me, my brothers and sisters. This is a rima word from the Lord. Bear with me. Praise the name of Jesus. To loose the bonds of wickedness. To undo the heavy burdens. And to let the oppressed go free. And that he break every yoke. <clears throat> and that he break every yoke. Some of us are being oppressed because of ancestral and generational curses. We are being plagued even up until this day because of generational and ancestral curses. Yokes from our forefathers. Yokes from our foremothers. Our forefathers have made, maybe made deals with the devil. Our mothers have made ignorantly decisions. That give the enemy ties to the family. And so it continues down the bloodline. God is saying this fast that I have called. Is to undo all these things. But it must be done right. My brothers and sisters. My daughter says from verse 1 to verse 7. Bear with me. We are now at verse 7. <clears throat> Verse 7 said, is not, sorry, is it not the D, sorry, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? The Lord is saying, is it not for us in the time of our fasting to share our bread with the hungry? Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is watching every move that we are making. Question is, as believers, in spite of our hard time His, are we sharing, my brothers and sisters? Are we sharing with each other? Question. Or are we stingy? Are we selfish? Because the truth is if we are selfish, there will be no result. If we are stingy, there will be no result. This is not my word. Let's read verse 7 of Isaiah 58 together. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. <clears throat> This is not my word. And so if there's somebody out there at this time who is struggling, a brother, a sister, somebody, are we taking the time to seek for a place for them to lay, to, to lay their head? Even just long enough till they can get their, 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 their life back together. Just enough time for a break. That they can reset. 
Are we at the place where the love of Christ is reigning within us? Where we can reach out to a brother or sister who is struggling. Struggling to pay the rent. And says, my brother, I, 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 will, I, I will contribute this much to help with the rent until you can get back your life together. Making sure that that brother or that sister is not thrown out in the street. How can a brother be in a, in a congregation? How can a sister be a part of the, 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 the house of Jacob? And yet still, that brother is allowed to be cast out in the street. That sister is allowed to be cast out in the street. Not only that, there are times when angels will come upon us unaware, where they're not even considered a part of the house of Jacob. Sometimes it's a stranger, and the Lord is leading you to help a stranger. The Lord is leading you to give support to a stranger. And we ignore the leading of the Holy Spirit. We ignore the voice of God. But yet still we are in fasting, crying out to the Lord for change concerning our present situation. When we will not take the time to help somebody else out there that is in a crisis where we can, we have the, 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 the wit all. We can assist, but we don't. But we are crying out to God for God to help us in our situation. Let us do the maths, my brothers and sisters. Check this out. And so we have it in our will to assist somebody out there. To bring a change in their lives. We don't. But we are in fasting crying out to God. I think I needed to repeat that a while ago. Doesn't work. The Lord says. And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seest the naked. That thou cover him. <clears throat> the Lord will say on the last day. I was naked. You didn't clothe me. I was hungry. You didn't help. You didn't feed me. And many will ask, Lord, when have I done that to you? I've never seen you in the earth, Jesus. When have I done that to you? And Jesus will say in the last day, you didn't do it to your brothers and your sisters. You didn't do it to those who were sent your way. And when you didn't do it to them, automatically you didn't do it to me this is what many will hear in the last days oh help us jesus help us help us lord <clears throat> so he says when thou seest the naked that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. The Lord is, be careful, my brothers and sisters. And, that, and, and thou hidest thyself from thine own flesh. Are we hiding ourselves from our own flesh? Hiding from the situation. The Lord is speaking to you concerning a brother. The Lord is speaking to you concerning a sister. The Lord is speaking to you concerning your pastor. Or you concerning your leader. The Lord is speaking to you concerning a servant of the Lord. And you continue to hide yourself from your own flesh. But yet still you, yet still you expect to gain result in the day of your fasting. It doesn't work, my brothers and sisters. 
doesn't work. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. I would encourage you all to read further down from verse 8 to verse 11. I just want to touch on verse 8. For those who will stay until this point. I'm just going to touch verse 8. But please read down to verse 11. Because the Lord is saying, this is what you're going to experience if this is what we are going to experience if we offer the right kind of sacrifice that is required if we fast the way that we should the lord is saying in your ear your, your goes in verse 8 he says <clears throat> then shall thy light break if we fast the right way if we live the right way my brothers and sisters, it says, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall be and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. You hear that? When we get it right, my brothers and sisters. And thine health shall spring forth speedily. Many remnants are sick. Many of us are not doing well. But the Lord is saying, if we get it right in the way we fast, if we get it right in the way we live among each other, oh, help us, Jesus. Then thine health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go forth before thee and the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. The question is, how many of us truly desire to see the glory of the Lord? How many of us are so desperate to see the glory of the Lord? How many of us, my God Almighty, in our house, Lord God, how many of us are desperate to see the glory of Jesus shining brighter and brighter in our marriage, shining brighter and brighter in our children, shining brighter and brighter in ministry, shining brighter and brighter in our family setting, among our relatives, the glory of Jesus in our communities. Help us, Jesus. Read down to verse 11. I'm going to hand it right here. God bless you. Love you.